How's it going, everyone? Well, now that I have some time, I thought about maybe uh, get a start on some tutorials for you guys, uh, get some stuff made up uh, to make it a little bit uh, easier for you guys in the advanced editor. And one good way to start is with the new role select. Um, I just want to show you guys how to set them up. It's fairly easy, uh, nothing to it, um, very simple. As you see here, I just got a very simple test map I created as a C4. Uh, actually made it in the uh, basic editor, and I loaded it in the full editor. But um, just this is for the role select purposes. So uh, let's get started. Uh, I'll just play, press play quick here, and kind of run around and show you that uh, you know just the basic setup. I didn't do anything special here. This was made. But now if I go ahead F1, you'll see uh, there's no roles actually selected or set up in here. Basically still has the old setup of, uh, or old way of uh, loadouts, uh, you know, switch into weapons. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to actually set them up so you can have the different, you know, uh, amount of uh, roles for each slot. So um, let me close this up and uh, we'll get started with that. So basically, uh, where the roles are, they're right under the uh, World Info properties. Uh, actually, uh, right under World Info, um, you'll see right under where your mission info is for all your uh, setup for your map. Uh, right above it, there's AA map. Um, and you'll see right down here, uh, fire, man, uh, fire Team Manager. Basically, uh, as a default, it's not set up. You'll have to create it and then uh, put the information in there as you want for your map, you know, depending. Some people want to put 10 snipers, some don't want any ACOGs or whatever. I mean, whatever. It's your preference. You do what you want. But uh, you see this blue arrow here? That's how you create the object, create the team. Just click it. The only thing right now available is the fire team manager. Once you click that, now you'll see uh, it gives you a little error here and gives you two options. It tells you the object, what, what it is. You don't have to worry about anything here. Under the fire team manager, you'll see now you have two uh, per team setups, and you have zero and one. Zero will be your first, uh, your assault or your alpha team or you know your attacking team, and B would be your defending, your secondary Bravo team, uh, if you want to call it. Um, and then basically, right now it's pretty simple from here. Under max roles, uh, once you expand it, you'll see different slots for riflemen, auto. Automatic rifle, ARs, uh, designated mark, uh, marksmen, and snipers. And as you see, by default, they're all zero. I'm sure there's more information coming down the road, but uh, let's not worry about the last. We just need the first four here. Um, so, for example, for uh, Team Zero, which is the Alpha Assault, you know, uh, attacking team, um, I'll go ahead and change this to let's say 10. And I'm just putting numbers in here, so don't mind me. You want to try to keep it to 12, 13 slots maybe. Again, it depends on how you want to set up your map. Um, I'll put, you know, say two automatic, uh, two designated, and one sniper. And then um, go ahead, close that, and then go to team one, which is defending, same thing. Expand it. I'll just do it. So for this uh, tutorial, just so you see the difference, I'll go backwards on your own. 10 snipers, uh, you know, 3 designated, uh, 2, and then just one rifle. And then uh, there's also underneath each one, underneath each team role, there's fire teams. And that's pretty cool. You could actually go ahead and change their names and, you know, you could put, for example, Elf, you know, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, uh, Delta, you know, just go on and... Uh, you know, and you could also change these numbers per team. I don't think all that works right now, but at least some of that stuff is there for you uh, to use. And hopefully, if the devs uh, end up expanding on this, uh, some of the stuff's already there. And I don't think that there's anything fire team. I haven't tried it. Now, the important thing you got to keep in mind is now that I have this set up, okay, I got all these slots set up. If I was to go and hit play. And I hit F, you know, F1 to bring up. I still don't have anything here. And the reason being is because I don't have the role selected. And that's very important. you got to keep in mind. Uh, what you want to do is uh, right up here, right above, 
right where it says use roles make sure you get that so check so it uses the roles so now if I go back and press play and I hit F1 and there's a team you see I have 10 riflemen uh, two uh, are, excuse me two uh, automatic riflemen designated and sniper but now if I was to change sides and go to Bravo and now you see the different rifle I have I have 10 snipers uh, you know whatever I put in my roles you know, three two and one so now you get the proper loadouts with the roles uh, and that's pretty much it I mean there's nothing uh, rocket science to it but uh, it's fairly simple and this will help you set up your roles in your maps and I hope you enjoyed this and you know, there'll be more stuff coming here down the road soon. Talk to you guys later.